I can still remember my first day of practice in high school sports, and the coach sat in front of us giving us what he expected. And this guy was intense. He said, look, we're going to have two-a-day practices. You're going to practice every day this summer, and you will never miss a practice of mine if you want to be on this team. He goes, I only accept one excuse to miss a practice. He goes, and it's a funeral. If you have to go to a funeral, accept, it better be your funeral. And I laughed out loud. This was the first time I had ever come face to face with a real mentor. And what I mean by that is someone who didn't take my crap. Someone who doesn't, wouldn't accept lame excuses. That didn't care how I felt. Didn't care if I felt good or I was up to it or if I didn't think it was the right thing to do. He only cared about my future, not my feelings. The second time it happened is when I joined the military. And those mentors are called drill instructors. And let me tell you, they, they don't care. They don't care how you feel. They're not going to accept any excuse. They won't accept any kind of talk back or rebellion or anything except absolute obedience and excellence. They want the job done. Their task was to take 80 men from different backgrounds and ages and make them into a unit, into a soldier, into a fighting group within a couple of months of training time. And they did this every day. They were on top of us every single day. I, the first day in, at boot camp, I remember the guy coming up, putting the brim of his hat in my forehead, screaming into my face, things I could never say here on the air to you. They spoke in a different language. Uh, these were mentors. These were men and women who were going to get us to where we wanted to be. They said, hey, here's where you're at right now. You're lazy, you're unresponsive, you're not motivated, but we're going to get you to this place over here, and we're going to get you there quickly. That's a mentor. A mentor doesn't care about your current feelings. We have mommies for that. And mommies are things that we need. We need people to pat us on the hiney and give us a hug sometimes and say, hey, Ed, you're doing okay. It's okay. Let yourself off the hook a little bit. Take a break a little bit. The problem is we have too many mommies in our life. We need more mentors. We need men and women around us who have done what we want to do, been where we want to go, who are willing to help us and kick us in the keister and the days that we need it. We need more of those people. We're surrounded enough with people who mommy us and coddle us and spoil us. We need mentors. I encourage you today to go out and do what I did and find men and women in your community who are willing to help you because they've been where you want to go and they're willing to kick you in the keister when you need it. Because the number one goal of a mentor is to protect you from you, or in my case, to protect me from me. My name is Ed Carcary. I'd love to connect with you. You can find me at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. Find your life.